What is up, Smash Ninjas? How about we go over some hip stuff? Yeah, some hippie hippie shake. <laughs> Can you identify the song? I'm dating myself when I'm saying that one because it's that friggin' old. But listen, we're gonna be talking about how to open up the hips, but pretty much specific stuff. I know we've gone into lots of hip openers, lots of external rotation stuff. We're gonna flip it around to go to internal rotation and I'm gonna show you hip test. I'm looking around for a bench, there's one right over there. I'm gonna show you an easy way to test your hip to see how tight they are. If you have an issue with your hip, a hip impingement, and if you have an internal rotation issue. It's just that easy. So you need that internal rotation on your hip because when you're walking, I'm gonna show you here, I'll grab this. When you're walking, if you look at your feet, this back leg is actually an internal rotation because if it wasn't, it would kick out like this and you wind up walking around like a duck. So two things happen when you're missing internal rotation. You can see my J hook here, that's just embarrassing. We'll go like this. So two things happen when you have no internal rotation of the hip. One, it, actually three things. One, it hurts. It just jacks up the hip mechanics. It causes the head of that femur to roll out on the outside of that labrum. Just chews it all up. That's number one. Number two is when you walk, your gait either gets, your stride gets really short, so very inefficient. And the other thing is what it'll, it'll do is it'll turn out that back leg every time you take a step. So if you're taking a really long stride and that stride comes out past where that internal rotation limitation is, the foot just does this kicks out to accommodate you because your brain goes, I wanna go that way and I wanna go with big giant strides, you're screwed. So your body's gonna alter itself to make sure it can go that direction. The dilemma with that is you wind up injuring yourself and then we gotta fix all this stuff. So that's number one. We're gonna work on that internal rotation and then we're gonna work on the shear on the hips. So in a better way, we're gonna work on massive, massive hip flexion on one side and massive, massive hip extension on the other, which is a really long stride. So for guys like uh, that play NFL, golly football guys, my buddy Brian Cushing from the Houston Texans, I'll tell you this, to have that, first of all, super explosive, number one. Number two is to have that really wide stride and uh, generating all that power out of the glutes. To be able to do that, you need to have that scissor motion back and forth with the pelvis. The pelvis is gonna do two things. It's gonna shear slightly this way on the SI joints and it's gonna rock back and forth to accommodate you running down the field, but it doesn't matter if you can't do that, if you don't have that range of motion so you can't bring that knee up, so you don't have that knee drive because you're missing hip flexion, that's bad. And number two is if you can't get open on the other side because you're missing hip extension, that's another bad thing. So we can beat the couch stretch up, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do. Listen, I'm gonna give you one super easy one to do. So we're gonna do two things today. Recover internal rotation and fix that awesome hip extension, hip flexion, all in one movement. But first thing we gotta do, we gotta do a test. How about that, huh? Little test. You know, I noticed blue on my shirt, red on my shirt, blue on my shoes, red on my shoes. That wasn't intentional, it really wasn't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bench. You can do this anywhere, I shit you not. You can do this stuff all over the place. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need all kinds of fancy degrees and all kinds of nonsense like that. Doesn't matter if I have degrees. I know lots of people. They got lots and lots and lots of paper behind their name, lots of initials and letters after their name, and they'll do two things, Jack and shit, and Jack left town. And then I know people that have no degrees and no letters after their name that, man, they know so much stuff. It's unbelievable. It's mind-blowing how much they know about the human body. So that's pretty cool. So don't let degrees fool you. Not always the greatest thing in the world. Don't get fooled by paper or initials. So what we do is we get on a bench. Okay, so I'm gonna go midway up the thigh. This is the test. So midway up the thigh on the bench, you're gonna lay back. So this is your position. So I'm gonna come down a little bit. So my leg is midway on the thigh, okay, or midway on the hamstring. I'm laying back like this. I wanna be on a bench where, I, I don't, it doesn't matter if your legs are hanging off the ground. As long as they're close to 90 degrees, that's fine. You're gonna grab this leg. It doesn't matter which leg you grab. I'm grabbing this one so you can see. So you're gonna grab this and you're gonna give it a pull. Now, if I give this a pull and my leg does this, I mean, it doesn't, it drops down. But if I give this a pull and my leg comes up like this, I have wicked tight hips. That's number one. Number two is if I come up like this, whether I come up or not, but if I'm down here, if I come up like this and then I come across, what I'm doing is I'm coming across, I'm gonna grab my shin and I'm gonna torque it out. If I twist my leg this way and I get a searing pain inside my hip, that means I have an internal rotation problem and an internal rotation impingement. We can clear that out. So, that's your test. You flunk both of those, it's time to get to work. So all you need is a box. Man, I swear, you could probably use a park bench. I could probably go outside over there and show you a bench and do it with that. 
So we need a, something about 20 inches high. This is so much fun, isn't it? Isn't this great? I love this stuff. Good. There's our box. Let's go a little further so we can really see what's going on. There's our box. I'll tell you, by the way, if you're not coming to Delta, you're missing out. This place is legit. So we get on our box. This is my trailing leg. This is my lead leg. I'm just gonna drop down into this position as far as I can. So I can't come all the way down because I'm not tall enough. So this is the position. So I can grab inside and let myself drop down. That's gonna load up hip flexion on this side and hip extension on that side, okay? I'll show you an easier way with a less aggressive stance with a smaller box so you guys understand what I'm talking about. So we grab a box. So this widens my stance. So this puts a lot more hip flexion in here. So this is important because just doing this, this is that regular dull couch stretch that we've been doing. This one where we just stand like this. There's a better way of doing it. It's a modified version of it. And it's a lot more effective. So trailing legs at 90 degrees. I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the box. Foot stays on the, on the box. This is already in maximum hip flexion. So now I've loaded up the glutes, I've loaded up the adductors, I've loaded up the hamstrings. I'm gonna be really tall. You're gonna feel it all up in here and you're gonna feel it on the uh, hip flexor side as well. So you just camp out like this for how long? Two minutes. When you're done, this is a really stubby box too. I think this is a, like an eight inch, I think. It's really small. Do the same thing on the other side and what you're gonna find is each side is different. So if this is not giving you enough of a stretch, take that leg bring it back a little bit. So now this leg, the hip is open even more. That knee is not at 90 degrees, and I'm just gonna lean forward. Maximum hip flexion, so I'm gonna feel it here in the glutes, in the hamstrings, and in the adductors. Maximum hip extension here. So I'm just gonna camp out like this for how long? Two minutes, that's it. That's how you free up your hips. Not complicated. Get away from the complicated stuff. You don't need it. Sometimes the most simple solutions, most effective ones. Hey, listen. Hey, remember how I said we were gonna do the internal rotation fix as well? Yeah, you know what's funny? As I ripped through that flexion extension, I was so excited, I said later, turned off the camera. So this is a little addendum to the video. We're gonna fix that internal rotation that we just talked about uh, fixing where we tested for it. Didn't fix it, right? So how about this? Hey, listen, sometimes the memory goes at my age. So what we do is we grab yoga blocks. This is important. This is super easy. You can use a yoga block, you can use whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. If you can go all the way down, perfect. If you can't, blocks. Blocks are your friend, okay? So what you do, grab a block, sit on it. Now you're gonna take whatever leg you're gonna work on. So I'm gonna work on my right, so I'm gonna take my foot, kick it out. So now, what I've done is I've really levered on this femur, because this lever here is forcing me into internal rotation at the hip. So the leg is coming out, but that forces this internal. If you get any pain in the knee, by the way, stop, slow down. And then your, hand, your tendency is gonna be to hunch over like this. All you're gonna do is sit up real tall and let gravity, ooh, that hurt. Let gravity, that was funky, really peel away. When you're done, come out and call it a day, okay? It's gonna be harder than you think. So I'll show you the other side so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get my right side at rest. So what we do is we sit on the block. So. Sitting on the block, I'm gonna take the back leg, turn it out, and then I'm gonna let gravity do the work. So you don't have to get fancy. Sitting on the blocks, the leg is turned out, I'm just gonna sit up real tall. I'm only doing one leg at a time. You don't have to do two legs, take it easy, okay? This, the further out this comes, the more leverage is on this femur, the more it torques into internal rotation, which you guys need. Camp out here for how long? Two minutes, this is gonna be miserable, I'm just telling you that right now. And that's it, call it a day. All right, I'll check you guys out later, peace!